Hello, good evening. Rob, Tech Automotive here. I've done another video. Now, I'm filming the intro and the outro to this video quiet, um, purely because filming it in a workshop or with all the tools going on, can't hear everything. So, filming it at home. Uh, I'm in my gym gear, because why not? Um, so, this video, I thought I'd bring you along, really. It was a spur of the moment thing, if you like, but a bit of diagnostics into a little coolant leak. Now, customers not seen any puddles or anything untoward on this uh, this car. Um, and to be fair, there was nothing obvious while I was delving into it. Other than the coolant tank being completely empty and the warning light being on the dash, there was no obvious signs of any leaks. Now, if anyone out there has ever dealt with these uh, the newer style diesel engines, on the uh, particularly on the Volkswagen, as they say, out in the Skodas, will know um, the has been one or two times where uh, the inlet manifold has uh, internally leaked coolant and it's obviously it's not really there to see it just goes straight into the inlet burns it and spews it out so we were on the lines of that or possibly the EGR but I thought now I'll, I'll delve I'll delve a little bit so um the car was due its timing belt and water pump anyway on age on age it's on 80k um so I thought, do you know what? Given the fact that it's, it's due, I'll have a quick check of the water pump. Um, again, taking the uh, the trims off and that to see more, there was nothing massively obvious. Tiny little bit, which you'll see in the next clip. Just at the uh, just where the crank pulley would normally go, just sat on the lower trim. Um, other than that, not a massive amount. But anyway, dug deeper, and as you'll see in the next clip, you'll see where it's leaking from. So we uh, Little bit. It did take a bit of time, but diagnosis is either a 10-minute job or a 10-hour job. You can never put a time to diag. But end of the day, car was fixed. I've, I, in the clips coming, you'll see uh, the fault on the car, and you'll also see another fault, which is on the clip. Um, again, there was two faults with one water pump. Now, the only one fault that rose its head that the customer noticed was a leak. But in the following clip, you'll see uh, it, it could have quite easily been an overheating issue at some point as well. But I explain that later on in the video. So, yeah, well, the I'd say spare with a moment thing. But I like to bring you along for these things because uh, if you're out there working on your own cars, it's ace. Just these little nuggets of information. So, next clip, you'll see the mechanical side of things and uh, bits and bobs. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you the fault and then the second fault that's arose from taking the water pump out. So, catch you in the next clip where the mechanical start and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Newer style Volkswagen engine uh, with the electronic water pump that runs off the cam belt as well. I will show you that in a second. Uh, in for lo losing coolant and the coolant warning light being on. Is, uh, it was very hard to find, very, very hard to find. So, uh, the vehicle was cold. So, uh, all I had was obviously the low coolant in the bowl and a little trail here so i was trying to find convincing evidence of uh, of where to go so i've stripped all the pulleys down as you can see i've not run it like this it did have a crank pulley on it to run it um and checking everywhere double checking and then i find just as it goes there's water leaking just out of this hole on the pulley of the water pump so the electric bit is just above as you see it Bit. It's got a sleeve, which I will show you on a new pump in a second. So that's that's the little leak, and it is just that small. It's leaking and dripping down to just where my finger is, running down into there, and just down to the sump. God, you can probably see this darker line around on the sump foam. So I'll show you a new pump just so you can see what I mean. So this is the electronic bit. It's this sleeve moves up and down that's your actuator sits on the top there and plugs it in and that's the pulley and the bearing you can see in there obviously with a seal so the seals obviously failed so thought I'd bring you along for this one it's just something to look out for if you ever are doing these uh, these diesel engines so my next task is to uh, replace the water pump so I can uh, I'll give you another another shot just after I've done the water pump just to show everything's all changed over and nice and new 
and there we go we'll do the test plan which is a coolant bleed make sure low circuit and high circuit are all nice and full and then we'll road test it and double check so uh, i'll see you in the next clip so i was going to do a, uh, a a part two if you like of uh, scenes just to show the pump the new pump fitted to the uh, the engine but i thought why new pump everyone's seen new parts fit into a car but i've got the old pump here and i wanted to show you i found another issue with it which sort of sparked the uh, the, the point of see, scene two if you like um i showed you the original fault which was just in there the seal had failed as you can see it's pretty wet and that's where it was hanging off the pulley also the electronic part the electronic actuated bit so effectively it's this sleeve that moves up and down to uh aid with the heating and cooling of the engine and obviously cold starts to warm it up faster and um, this slides up and down now what's happened here is as you can see that's on the uh on the wonk and it's seized you can you can pull it down if you really really tried but that's seized so as you can see you're barely exposing any of the water pump fins at all so it's not really doing it a great deal as a water pump as such so there's two issues with this pump i thought you know what i'll bring you along and i'll I'll, uh, I'll let you have a look so obviously you've got the failed bit in there which has caused the original water leak or the coolant leak sorry which the car is in for and then the seized uh, sleeve so again yeah i thought i'd bring you along for that because that uh, that again could cause two issues that might not be linked in into the diagnostics but there we go we've cured two issues the water leak and a potential overheating leak on the vehicle just by replacing this one part that can sometimes be very much overlooked so yeah enjoy thank you for watching there we are absolute conundrum absolute conundrum um good little fault though good little fault you'd have to run that up to temperature just to see that coolant leak on the pump and then also with removing the pump, as you saw, the sleeve seized and cockled over as well. So it was only a matter of time before that vehicle would have been suffering some overheating symptoms with the sleeve blocking the impeller for the water pump. So hope this video has been informative. Um, like I say, diag could be 10 minutes or 10 hours. So it's nice to get a conclusion, a solid conclusion that the, one, the customer can see and two, I can be a thousand percent sure in my diagnosis that that is it. So there you go, two items or two issues, sorry, with one one component. Happy days. So uh, yeah, thanks for coming along. I hope this has been interesting for any of you diesel or engine technic technicians out there. There's one. Enjoy it. Thank you very, very, very much for watching the channel, watching, supporting me, supporting the channel. Um, please like, please like the video. If you want more content like this, bang in the comments. Chuck a comment down there saying you love it or you want such and such and such and such. I'll do my best to make it happen. So on that, I'll leave that one with you. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon.